Hi, it's Jess here from nigessa.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. So I've got another mess on my desk. Um, I'm going to do another, um, let's just make and see what happens sort of video. So I'm making this for the weekly challenge over on Junk Journaling for everyone. And I decided we'll make a dangle. It's not, I think I've made one dangle on a journal. And that was a challenge on that group as well. Um, so they're not something that I often put on my on my journals. Um, but I do have lots of stuff that I could use for dangles. So I thought, yeah, steampunk dangle. Let's see what we've got. So I've got um, broken jewellery that... Um, I sort of rescued. I've got some charms that I did buy, and then there's charms as well that I buy some. I buy jewellery from charity shops, and um, one of them had these sort of charms on it. I have had a little quick skeg at things that I might use. So that cross and that key, I thought that'd be very junk journaling. I've got things in my stash that I've had for absolutely donkeys. Um, so I've got these, which I thought quite nice. So I've picked that one up. I thought. That might be a bit steampunky. So I've got a little tray here where I'm picking things out that I thought might might work. I quite like that. Sort of reminded me of like Victorian cameos. But I thought it's too big. So I rejected that. Um, and uh, I had a go at flattening bottle tops. I think I saw it on a picture on Pinterest. And I thought, oh, I'll have a go at that. But I have just bought myself. I didn't do them very well. I just put it through my big shot, but I've just retired my big shot and bought myself an early birthday present um, of the Sizzit switch. Oh my God, lots of money, but love it. Absolutely love it. I've got um, rheumatoid arthritis. I don't know why I'm using my hands. It does affect my hands, but it actually affects every joint in the body. But, so I just thought if I've got to get a new... Um, die cutting machine I'll get an electric one because my condition's only going to get worse and um, and it allows me to use a4 so I've been buying a4 things on eBay embossing folders as well so yeah very excited about that but I'm not going to put bottle top through through it um but I haven't chucked if you know me you would know I have not chucked away my big shot it's not completely dead so I might use it for things like this. But I thought that was quite cool. Quite like that with the, the anchor on it. So I might incorporate that because it's got a bit of a crown and that on. So I might use that. So I'm going to put that there. Uh, yes, I don't necessarily recommend using your big shot for things like that. Really? Don't. If you try it at your own risk, do not blame me. So I bought these charms. Um, these are, are gold, as you see. There's a couple in there I quite like. And what I did, I think I watched a Tracy Fox video ages ago, and um, where she made them look a little bit more antiquey. So I just mixed up some alcohol um, inks. So I did buy some specifically for this project. I bought some black and I bought some orange, and. Um, and just put these gold ones in and, and made those, which I, I quite liked. Um, I don't know that I've actually got any in here that I would use in a steampunk project. Um, there are a couple in there, but I'm not about to get messy. There's a there's a, that lock, that heart-shaped lock, I think is quite nice. But I'm not about to get messy and do them. I only did a few because I wasn't sure how they would work. Now, there's a bit of me that likes that hand. Not sure if it's steampunky, but I'm going to put that in there as a possibility. So we've done that, we've done that. Um, and I did these ones, with, so they were some silver bells. So I did these at the same time. And you can see that actually these were all silver, modern silver ones. So you can see the difference in the colour that you, you get, depending on what you're colouring these are very black these took quite a lot of the black um i think that might go for christmas I'm going to do christmas soon um so they may work for that 
I've got some pearls. They're quite good. I like this. The good good colour of chain. So I might be utilising those those chains. Maybe not these bits, but the chain bits. So I um and I might use that as the top of my dangle. These are some earrings that one of the bits broke off. I think I probably lost one. Oh no, I didn't look. I'm lying. I think I just decided I would get more use out of this in my craft room than wearing it. I mean, that one's broke. So, unless I've used it for something. So, I think those chains will come in handy. So, I'm doing that. Uh, yeah. In this glass here, these were coins off a bracelet. I bought a bracelet in a charity shop that had these, these coins. So, one of those might go. I've got a moon. I quite like that. Yep, I might put that in there as well. Yep, so that's that. I've got these. I used to make my own earrings. I don't know where half the stuff is. Um, but I've got these. They might come in useful to use. What have we got on here? That, I quite like that. That's an old, like, jean popper or something. And I thought, yeah, might be able to use that. That big ring's nice. These are some earrings that I don't wear anymore. But there's some little bits on there, particularly that ring that might be handy. I don't know why that's in there, other than you're never going to wear it, Jez. And um, I did wonder if there was some anything in this that might be sort of a bit clockworky. I mean, most things aren't clockwork anymore, are they? So I'm just gonna just gonna pull this off and see what I might find. <laughs> That's still working. That's still flashing. Um, but that isn't what I wanted. Huh? That isn't what I wanted. I wanted to pull that bit off. So let's have a look. I've got a few bits of tools. Watching junk journaling videos, you just end up going and buying things, don't you? And I did buy this set of three tools. This was after watching, I think it was Tracy Fox. She's such an enabler. And um, But they are handy, and I have used them a lot. So let's just... When you have got joint problems and that sometimes these things are a bit difficult to do I know lots of crafters have difficulties don't they but... here's the cutting one let's just try all all the tools I've got oh, I'm getting somewhere with that now there we go Do you know, my brother was one for taking things apart. Just just out of interest, see how they worked. I'm a little bit like that myself. And he used to, you know, like, I'm going to throw that. If the telly broke, he'd like, oh, I'll try and fix it. And we'd all be like, no, don't touch it. Because whenever he tried to fix it, the um, he always made it worse. And it was like, oh. It was only slipping a bit, the screen. Do you remember when your telly screen used to slip? And sometimes just banging the top would make it work again. So it might slip every, like, 30 seconds. And then Steve would have a go. And then it would slip every second. And you'd like, why did you do that? But, um, yeah... Funny. Right, now there are some interesting looking things on here. That in itself is quite interesting. But, not really, not really necessarily any steampunk things. So, although actually, if I get this off and it's quite flat, Maybe 
maybe I could put it in the bottle top. I want that bit of light there. Oh, don't know where that's gone, but just give it a flick. That is quite nice. And then we've got this bottle top that maybe I could stick it on the bottle top. That is quite cool. I think this was just like a cheapo pound shop thing, you know, that you get this time of year. Which will be 50p probably in a couple of weeks time. So that might be quite good. I might have to get my glue gun out and try and put that on. Liking that. And these bits, I might keep the batteries. Weren't quite dead. So I might just keep those somewhere. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm having out of that lot. that in there so that's that let's just I've got these all in a drawer somewhere so um so I know where they are I like those tins with the open lids they were they were stamping up ages ago so I've got these I've got pearls I don't think I'm going to use pearls Um, yeah, so I bought these, oh God, ages, years, years, decades, probably, ago. And um, I thought that I could have an S and a P for steampunk, even though I think steampunk's one word, isn't it? So where's the S? Watch me not have an S. I bought these for when I was like proper into 12 by 12 scrapbooking because I thought they'd make really nice titles to pages. And um, I literally have just pulled these things out and shoved them on my desk. Otherwise, I'd have had the S already. And it might be that didn't have many. Oh, there we go. Thank goodness for that. Uh, steampunk. Two S's there. You wait all year for an S and you get two at the same time. I thought they would be good. And then I've got... I don't think that. I think I might use that on me, on me topper. I might colour it. I quite like that. 75p bargain. The works. Bargain, bargain shop in the UK. Another works thing here. Quite like these keys. Love these locks. Um, so I thought they'd be useful. I'm going to put them there. These, bought in a charity shop, paid £2.75 for them. Um, but there are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 little charms, which isn't bad. Because when I bought that bag that I showed you at the beginning, I paid probably three times it and had about the same amount of charms. So lots of different designs on here. These are designed, they're underwear accessories. Now... I don't have things like this on my underwear, I can assure you. But, you know, I'm sure some people do. It's funny the things you find in a charity shop. Now, look, there's a moustache. And I thought that would be cool. On a steampunk thing. Why you would have a little moustache on your underwear, I have no idea. But at least I think it's a moustache. Don't know what else it would be. Maybe I need to get my glasses on because now I'm sitting there thinking, is it something else? No, I think that's a tash. So that can go in the pot. We'll have that. Um, that's quite nice. That's lovely. Oh, I might have that. Might have to colour it a bit. But that's quite a nice. A nice little thing. There we go. I think that's all I'm going to take from this. That was quite nice, but I've gone with the other. Yeah, I've saved these from other projects. But they're quite cool, aren't they? Not bad for £2.75. Uh, 
And then I've got a watch, which I thought the watch will have cogs in it, won't it? It's a wind-up watch, so I imagine it will be a bit. I've got some black ribbon as well, which I thought I might use in it. Yeah, so this is a watch. This was my son's. My son is one of these people, a bit like his dad, that they wear watches and they just break them. Do you know, it's funny, look, it stopped on, the date is the 18th and his birthday is the 18th. So that's quite weird, isn't it? Now, I know you can get the backs off these. Um, and um, you probably need a special tool. Is there a is there a, a divot where I can like put something in and just like divot it off? Oh, yeah, there's one there. There's a little something in there. Will that just prise up? Might do, Jez, but maybe not with that. Maybe. Well, let's try actually with the pokey. Without injuring myself. Now I've lost where the doodah is. It's there. You got a little doodah there. Do I push down there? No, Jess, you don't push down there. I might just get a hammer. Because it's not really my intention to put it back together again. Try the flat end. No, I think I feel this might break. I am gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna hit it with a hammer. Yep, just a little bash with a hammer. And it all came apart. So that's fabulous. It's not a clockwork one after all. It did have a winder, but it's got a battery. So that needs to go in my little pile downstairs of batteries that need disposing of. So I might save that. I'm thinking this strap, it's a nice leather strap. And um, genuine calf, that's now making me feel a bit sick, actually. I'm a vegetarian. But I think that would be a lovely closure for a steam poultry. Can you hear me out of breath? I've literally gone downstairs and back up again. Um, but, yeah, I think that would make a nice closure. So I'm going to keep that. So what have we got here? Big disc. Yeah, that could be used for something. I think my cropper dial... Would actually be able to make a hole in that. Let's have a little look, see. Will I get a hole in it? I might do a little one. But no, it is actually struggling. So yeah, it's maybe too hard metal for, for me crocodile. Don't really want to break it. So that was that was an idea. So it needs to probably just could use that as a frame, put something round in that and stick that on something. That's a good idea, isn't it? Maybe not for the for this project, but that is something. I quite like the ideas of these hands. The clock hands. You'll be all now looking, well, you might not. You might think, Jez, that's a really stupid idea. But if you don't, you might be now thinking, oh, look, there's cogs. There are cogs. They're plastic. 
but there are cogs, which is what I wanted. But I'm wondering if you're all thinking, oh, I must have some broken watches, some broken clocks. The amount of... See, I could colour them easily, the plastic, but I could colour them with my alcohol markers. Oh, and there's a metal cog. Very little, but very lovely. But yeah, I think Ed has gone through so many watches and I'm wondering if he's kept any. Because sometimes he does keep things if they were like special birthday presents or whatever. I bought him a Harry Potter one and it had like the, the snitch was on the end of one of the hands. And that lasted a fairly long time on, on Ed. I think the pair of them, they've got like some sort of internal... I don't know, magnetic field or something. Anyway, it makes watches go funny. They never work. They never say the right time. Oh, that's nice. That's got a little pin on the end. That, I think, is what's holding these in place. Yes, it is, because there's the, there's the little second hand. Oh, lovely little stash of things. See, being a hoarder and not liking to chuck things out. This is when I find out that my son will go, actually, Mum, all that watch needed was a new battery. Oh, well. Sorry, son. It's gone now. <gasps> and I've got the clock face. And it's got a hole in it because it had a date on it. Oh, two cogs. Oh, <gasps> wow. Two cogs on the back there. That's a good find. So I think these will make lovely little bits for journals. Oh. So that's gone there. One of the cogs, don't know where the other one went. Flew off somewhere to be found in about a century. So there's a there's a Oh, what's nice, although these were white on one side, on the other side, they're not white. So that's quite nice. Don't know where the other hand went. That's gone for a Burton somewhere. But that's cool. That's very cool. I might use that. Don't know if it will separate from this metal plate. There's two, two plates on here. Don't know if I can get it to separate without breaking. I think I probably could, but then I'm thinking, let's leave it on. But it's got these sticky out bits, which I need to sort out. But I like that idea. Here we've got the number. Oh, the ring of numbers. They're cool. That's cool as well. We've got cogs in here, got a wee one there. And all sorts of interesting bits of metal. That would make up things to go on. I'm wondering if this can be separated from this plastic. Try the pokey side. Yep. Oh yeah. Give it a pull. Go. Lovely bunch of loveliness. Marvellous. Marvellous, marvellous. 
that reminds me a little bit of the Melon Liam Falcon. So that in itself. Yep, got a little cock there if I want. But I don't want you to go flying over my desk. Never to be seen again. Flying this way somewhere, that's a bit of plastic, don't want to use that. Alright, can't get him out for now. Anyway, there we go. That is a nice little lot of things harvested for me dangle. May use some, may not use all. So, got them all there in a tray. Ready. So, oh, finding all sorts. So, we want something to hold the dangle together. I quite like the ones that are removable. So, um, a bulldog clip. I've got a couple of different sizes of bulldog clips, maybe a little one. That might be a good idea. And then we can sort of dangle it from the hole in the top of that bulldog clip. Because I think if you've got a journal with a dangle on the, let me get me, me, that's one of my altered books, that if you've got like, if you put a hole in there and have something dangling, when you open it, that it won't be able to go flat so having a dangle that looks decorative on the shelf but when you want to use it you can take it off and then actually you could use it as a little bookmark within your journal so that you know where you are this is my ideas journal yeah i haven't had too many ideas <laughs> Oh, I just keep forgetting to use it. I have ideas and then I just make them without sort of like holding them somewhere. So we've got that. May well want to change the colour on that. Um, and might simply use an alcohol marker. To do that. So... This is black. And then I might add another colour to it. And um, oh, the other idea is to do what I did before, which was um, actually colour it with the inks which I did in a plastic bag so add this I think I'm getting pretty good success with this this is this is a bronzer I think that's giving a nice sort of antique shade to it Yeah, it's not silver anymore. Don't know if that's obvious. Yeah, liking that. Oh, ruining my nibs. There'll be people going, oh, I can't believe you're doing that with your Stampin' Up! blends. Well, I am. They're mine. So, we need a chain, I think. A bit of a chain and add to. Got that circle, that's a complete circle, so that needs whatever is holding that on. So that's a jump ring. Could utilize that jump ring. I think that's what they're called. 
She sounds so knowledgeable and has no idea really what she's talking about. It's just what I've heard other people call them. There we go. Yeah, love that. Right, that ring. If we take that off. Off there. Got a ring there. Got a bit of chain going on there. I think when I did my other one, I just basically altered an earring. I didn't actually take much doing. I basically took an earring that I already had and used used bits from it. So although I've made one, I don't really I don't really do much with it. In terms of skill or how to. Just that earring's nice. I'll add something to it. Jobs are good. Which is actually, if it if it fits, then why not? Right, so we've got another jump ring. And a bit of chain on here. Which might which might be cool to use. I want to get the other little bits off. So these are little bits that are on some of them posts with stoppers at the end, which are quite handy to have. So let's try and get this off. I hope this isn't boring. Well, if it is, you can just either watch me on double speed Or a speed in half, usually one and a half speed. You go to your settings. It does make you sound normal and not pinky and perky. Go to double speed and you're a bit pinky and perky. Those of you who aren't of a similar age might not know about pinky and perky. But it was one of my favourite childhood programmes. It was two pigs, string puppets, as were most of children's programmes back then. And um, they were little pigs, and they talked with squeaky, squeaky voices. They even, they even released a record because I got it one Christmas. And um, yeah, I did love Pinky and Perky. I think they remade it, but like. You know, and did like proper animation with it. I think it loses something when you do that. I think part of its appeal was the string puppets. We had the wooden tops. I loved them as well. The herb garden. Andy Pandy, who I always thought was a little girl. <laughs> Never realised Andy Pandy was a boy, even though he was called Andy. You know, there was a clue there, Jez, but it never struck me because he had little bits of curly hair poking out from his hat. I just thought he was a boy, a girl, I mean, but, you know, not that it mattered in the least. But, uh, yeah, did love Andy Pandy as well. I think we've got a video somewhere of Watch With Mother programmes. It like one episode of each of them. Loved it. The Clangers. Loved the Clangers. They weren't part of Watch With Mother though, were they? Got a video of that. Bagpuss was one of my ultimate favourites. There. So, got a bit of a chain there. Might leave that, that on there. Like so. Um, so I want to get that big ring so if I open this slightly I need two things to hold oh
doing very well here. So. There we go. Uh, uh, there we go. So we twisted that bit. Twisted it right off. Wasn't what I wanted to do. So I want to hang that big ring. Close the ring up. Because it's not actually a jump ring, it might not. Why not hold? Oh, that seam too have closed. That hole seems to have closed. There we go. We're getting somewhere. Oh, liking that. What else can we put on there? Where's the... Shall we hang that? So that needs quite a big ring to hang from there. This doesn't open, unfortunately. And the jump ring's not big enough, so... That... Might need something else to help. Right, what about one of these? Packet never been opened. So no. That'll be much quicker than me faffing. So go round so I can hook that around there and then close it and then put that in the middle bend it round squeeze cooking on gas so we've got a clock thing going on yeah liking that so I think we need another little bit of chain hanging down a little longer some chain on this so let's get this off get one of these off anyway if I open that a bit it should just slip off there we go yeah it didn't quite slip off Exactly how I wanted it to. But things are coming off. Right, let's. There we go. Got a little bit of. Right, so let's get this off. Um, chain. So let's move this. Jump. I've got some more jump rings somewhere. But I think they're silver. Not quite really the colour I want. There we go. 
there, got a jump ring there. I want to hang a key from that. Let's have one of these keys. So these are held on. With these. That'll be handy in my stash. Key there. Stick that over there. Give it a push. That's the wrong one. I sort of over pushed that really. Just pull it out because I do want it to move about. Yes. So I want to attach that up there. I wonder if I can get it on this this jump ring that's on there. Yeah. Slide that in. Maybe need a little bit more of a gap. I should be able to get it in there. Yep. So how are we doing? So we've got that so far. I think that's pretty cool. So, I want to dangle something else. So, what else am I dangling? Oh, I've got this, haven't I? Although that might be quite big now. I'm liking the idea of sticking that to the back of this. But maybe not for this project. Oh, I've got a big coin, haven't I? Oh, and I've got my, my SP for steampunk. So, do I want them to hang together? Or separately, I think separately, so that we actually get to see them. So we know that. So we have an old, I mean, it says Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth II. It isn't, I can assure you. It'd be nice to have some Victorian. Oh, and I had that. I quite like that, didn't I? Right. Oh, and we've got that. So, um, them two. So that's, let's have a look, see, I want these to be a different colour, don't want them to be that colour, so let's get this out again. Alright, so I need to give them a minute to dry. It's reacting quite well. I don't know if you can see that. It's giving a bit of a different sort of effect on there. Let's do the back. Yep, might leave them to dry a little bit. It's alcohol, it doesn't take long. Now I can attach this to this chain that's already on there. The screen's getting crowded, isn't it? That was bound to happen. Wasn't it? 
because I've got my glasses on and that required me to see properly. Absolute burk. That's just fallen all over the floor. Never mind. You can now see a bit better what I'm doing. Didn't even say a rude word then, did I? Ruining my nails. Uh, I think another chain for that. Probably be enough. There, another bit of chain. I think I'm just going to hang this as it is and then I've got several other bits of chain on there. And I can take this off. Thought I had a jump ring. I'm wondering if I can use the end of this bulb pin. Can I cut it? Yes. There we go. Oh, now I've just seen a little jump ring there. Oh, well, never mind. So. Push that through. There. Push that through. There we are, create my own jump ring. That's very cool. So I'm going to put something on the end of that. Shall I add this key? So let's have a look what we've got. In that so I can add a few more bits to these chains. Oh, I was colouring things, wasn't I? Yes, so let's see what they're looking like now. Yep. Uh, it's 
and go on there. Stuck now again, needing a jump. That. Might have been better off taking that pearl off. But, but then it would have gone through that hole. So that's keeping it in place. Where are we going to put our steampunk now? Yeah, we definitely don't want them together. Right, coming up with an idea. Bead. That one. That's not helping, Jess. Get that out. Just found the bead I want. Right, so. Pick that up. Put that on there. Put that around there. And it won't fall through, will it? Maybe from the back. Bend it up. Thinking, oh, a little bit bigger. There we go. So that's the steam. Another bulb pin. I am thinking. be the way of attaching it to the bulldog clip. might just leave it at that. I might. Go over those white bits on the clock face. might call that done I don't have a journal to pop it on um, I do have a book here because I haven't actually made a steampunk junk journal but I think I will be now now I've got all my bits ready so there we go that's it That's it dangling down, doing what it says on the tin, being a dangle. There we go. I hope that's useful. I literally 
making things up as I go along. And I hope you like my idea. So a broken earring for all the chains and then just bits and bobs that I had in my stash and a broken and a broken um, watch. I might give that a bit of a twist so that it sits where I want it to sit. fiddle for ages couldn't you there we go steampunk dangle i'll take some better pictures of it and put it over on my blog that is a uh, uk and uh, i hope that's giving you some inspiration i hope you join in the challenge or just try your hand at making dangles push push yourself out of your comfort zone and do something a little bit different Okay, bye for now. I'll be back again tomorrow with something else. And I'll uh, see you all again soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe.